This episode of Hunting in the Sticks is brought to you by North Dakota One Call. Click or call before you dig. This week on Hunting in the Sticks, we will be turkey hunting in Kentucky. I'm not much of a turkey hunter, but my son Nick, he's been driving me crazy to turkey hunt. Mark is shaking the whole blind from being so nervous. Here shows up these birds out of nowhere. Jimmy is so pumped up about getting his first bird with a bow that I just hope he don't mess this up. Hunters are ordinary people with an extra ingredient. It makes us work harder, longer, smarter. We do things most won't. To experience something most never will. Hello, I'm Gary Remmers, and welcome to this week's episode of Hunting in the Sticks. After a long, cold winter, springtime is a welcome sight. If you are a hunter, this means one thing, turkey season. I'm not much of a turkey hunter, but my son Nick, he's been driving me crazy to turkey hunt. So we went out and set up some blinds at the farm where I see a lot of turkey traps. After setting up all my blinds, I had a little weight relief off of my shoulders. Ricky calls me and tells me that up at his place, they're seeing a lot of birds. So Nick and I headed up there. Got all our cameras set, everything set, your iPad it up. We're ready to go. You ready? You hear that? Crickets. I thought Ricky had some good turkey hunting farms. Hey, I can't tell these birds what to do. As you can tell, plan A was a bust. So now it's time for plan B. We need to go uh, drive around, see if we can get something to answer, or see if we can see something strutting out in the fields. What do you think? Let's do it. Try buying your house? Sure. I have all hands on deck trying to get Nick this bird. We got six guys trying to pin down a few turkeys. Hopefully this will work. They got a pop-up blind put up for you. They got a turkey gobbling back. So you're gonna go over there and get in the blind, you and Shane and Ricky. Good luck. turkey just popped his head up for like two seconds and went right back into the woods. Now we've had two bad setups and I'm really starting to feel the pressure trying to get Nick this bird. The only option left now is to take Nick and set up on this field where I've been seeing these turkey strutting every evening and just pray this last setup works. All right, we've been sitting here for about an hour or so. We've got some hens clucking up on the hill behind us. We'll sit here and hopefully they start to make their way to this field as the evening progresses. That is four big toms and they're heading straight this way. They're walking straight this way, stuff. That shit is 
Strider. Patty. I can't. <laughs> All right, crew, let's get started. All right. Don't ignore the law. You must call 811 at least two to three days before any digging project so you can avoid hitting our essential buried utilities. For digging projects big or small, make the call to 811. Renegade Steel Buildings is a nationally recognized supplier of the highest quality steel buildings and steel building accessories. Whether you're looking to build a new commercial building or a storage building on your property, Whatever your steel building needs may be, Renegade offers the expertise and solution. To receive a hassle-free quote and brochure, call 1-877-363-4233 or visit us online at renegadebuildings.com. The Ram Cap is the next step in broadhead evolution. Its stealth body and blade design allow it to easily outperform its competition in accuracy, penetration, and cut diameter. It's the only broadhead on the market with a back cut, allowing the broadhead to rotate forward and cut its way back out. Listen to the exit, exit, exit. Hawaii One Call hopes you enjoy hunting in the sticks. We want to remind you that whether you're planting a tree, building a fence, or just making improvements around your farm or home, calling 811 will get your work area marked so you can avoid contact with buried lines as you work. You owe it to yourself and your loved ones to dig safely. Know what's below. Call before you dig. For more information, visit us online at callbeforeyoudig.org slash Hawaii. Hunting in the Sticks is brought to you by 811. Know what's below. Call before you dig. Steady form. Ramcat broadheads. And Denali rods. We would also like to thank these 811 partners. Ricky Mills has taken Mark Stowe and his son Nick out during Kentucky's youth turkey season to try and get Nick his first turkey. After two bad setups, Ricky has the dad and son at setup number three with a shot at redemption in hand. When your kid misses like that, it, I don't know. Did you get nervous at all? I didn't get nervous at all. Shane calls us the buck acres. So I guess you got the turkey acres. <laughs> oh, well, that was fun. Fun, fun, fun. We're ready for another day. After working hard all day long, and seeing Nick miss like that was just heartbreaking and made for a really rough youth season. But I'll have another chance because the regular season is right around the corner. With the week being between youth season and our regular season in Kentucky, I did a little scouting and I had a lot of turkey activity at my own farm. So we elected to start there opening morning.
I'm here trying to film these birds, but I can't keep my camera steady because Mark is shaking the whole blind from being so nervous. His hands were shaking so bad, he couldn't keep his camera steady either. Mark is so excited about Nick getting his bird that he forgot about the second bird in the field. I had to calm him down, tell him to pick up the gun, and shoot the other bird. Well, Nick, what a what an exciting morning here! You can you can see what we've done. We've got two birds. Tell the story of it. We came in here, and then a few birds came out, and then got the gun. I was really shaky, <laughs> and then I uh, shot the turkey. And I never thought we would get two turkeys. I I never dreamed two turkeys, and what a what a morning! Uh, you know, you killing your first bird, and uh, me getting to kill my first bird. Uh, uh, it uh, just, what, what a morning. Look at that pitiful beard on Stowe's bird. Nick's beard, Mark's beard. I mean, look at that. To get to go out there with my son and harvest my first bird and him his as well at the same time, wow. I mean, that's all I can say is wow. And Ricky, I can't thank you enough for making this happen. North Dakota One Call hopes you enjoy hunting in the sticks. We want to remind you that whether you're planting a tree, building a fence, or just making improvements around your farm or home, calling 811 will get your work area marked so you can avoid contact with buried lines as you work. You owe it to yourself and your loved ones to dig safely. Know what's below. Call before you dig. For more information, visit us online at nd1call.com. The steady form will increase your accuracy, confidence, and allow you to extend your range. The steady form is an essential tool for every bow hunter to help eliminate form breakdown when it counts the most. The steady form was designed to give your bow hand a consistent anchor point each and every time. We are hunting in the sticks. And we put our trust in the steady form torque eliminator. Steady form will increase your accuracy, confidence, and will allow you to extend your range guaranteed. Foundation for Hope is just that, what we consider the foundation. But we envision the Foundation for Hope giving these families and these children that have been stricken with life-challenging illnesses the hope, rejuvenation, to go forward and fight the illnesses that they have. The adaptive equipment we have allows them to shoot their own rifle and harvest their own animals. It's truly incredible the things that we can do. There are no limits. Over 15,000 products in stock from over 300 different manufacturers. We've got premium optics, scopes, binoculars, rangefinders, and more. Knives and tools from all the major brands. Cold Steel, CRKT, K-Bar, Spyderco, and more. Keep your guns safe with vaults from Hornady, Gun Vault, and more. Save 10% off your first order. Use coupon code PURSUIT at FirearmPros.com. Now it's time for your 811 Know What's Below Call Before You Dig viewer clip of the week. This week's clip was sent in by Jeremy Saroy of Michigan. We wait for the storm to pass. Hopefully uh, the birds will be out in the field. There we go. I just tagged out for this season. Nice beat. 
beard. Life's good. Just enjoying it now. If you would like your personal video to appear on our show, go to our website at huntinginthesticks.com and follow the instructions. After a few shortcomings, Mark and Nick Stowe were finally able to harvest their first turkeys ever. Now it's time to see if another dynamic duo can have the same success. Natalie and Elise. You know I've always taken Natalie deer hunting, but never turkey hunting. And we've had plenty of success over the years too. But this year, Natalie decided she wanted to try her hand with the turkeys. Let's go, girl. I had to get my lips stuck. This girl and her makeup? You what? My lipstick. Your lipstick? She always has to look good for the camera. Natalie and I are heading over to a little farm down the road here that we call the porch, and Natalie is going to shoot the shotgun with the new turkey choke. Since the girl's never shot a turkey before, I'm making her go out and practice before she actually goes out turkey hunting. First time shooting these three inch turkey loads. See what happens. All right, go when you're ready. Oh my God. Sorry, I should have said that on the camera, but oh my God, that was a lot. Yeah, I probably should have told her that that was gonna kick a wee bit more than usual. Are you gonna be able to handle it? Yeah. Are you crying? No. Okay. Why can't you use a regular one? That was really, really intense. God, it's a freaking turkey. You really need that much bill? <laughs> oh my God. It's just so intense. This kind of pattern, we'll get them every time. Do it. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Tomorrow is opening morning and Natalie is ready. So I'm meeting up with my buddy Eric and his daughter Elise and we're gonna take these girls out and see if we can get them a couple of long beards. It's about six o'clock in the morning. We got about a half hour before we head into the woods. Uh, of course, today, it's all about the girls. <laughs> if we got two birds coming in. And we'll say, you know, you get one on the left, get the one on the right, whatever it is, okay? I guess nobody's paying attention because right there in front of us, here shows up these birds out of nowhere. I have no idea how we pulled that off. We're lucky we didn't spook those birds. <laughs> my arm was literally about to oh collapse. My God. Oh, my God. That's awesome. <laughs> See, now we focus on the big ones. So start small and work your way up. <laughs> That's pretty good size, though. We were totally surprised. And so we just took our time and waited for him to come close. We both decided that our first time out turkey hunting, we wanted a double. So, so we did it. So we did it. Like <laughs> <laughs> young Jake turkey breast. Now it's time for your safe digging moment of the week, brought to you by the legendary 811 bike.
The hunting in the Sticks crew has been hitting the turkey woods hard. Mark and Nick Stowe capitalized on a double kill on opening morning. Meanwhile, a couple of counties away, Natalie Rimmers and her friend Elise shared similar success. With four harvests in the book, hunting in the Sticks' Jimmy Duncan is headed out with his bow to see if he can make some magic of his own. All right, we're out here in LaGrange, Kentucky. I got Ricky Mills behind the camera. About a week and a half ago, Austin Barnes was filming me, and we had a nice time come in and attack the decoy. I didn't have time to make the shot. Tonight, I'm gonna have time. We got one goblin way back in the back. He's gonna come in, but he's not gonna be leaving me. He's gonna be on the ground flopping. Uh, it's morning. You said tonight. It's in the morning. Everyone knows that. I think Jimmy Boy has worked way too many night shifts recently. That boy's brain is fried at the moment. Like you said tonight. Okay, tonight, yeah. Maybe. It's illegal to hunt turkeys at night. We're gonna stay here all day until tonight. Tonight has like this afternoon, five to six. Oh, okay. This gobbler is fired up, but it's going to take a miracle to get him to cross that ditch between us and him. I swear it's been like an hour, and Jimmy is so pumped up about getting his first bird with a bow that I just hope he don't mess this up. But I got him in the freaking body. I'm just glad that freaking worked. I'm tagged out. I don't care. I'm just glad the freaking turkey's dead. Yes. Ah, uh, man. I knew that was my only chance of trying to get him now. Yeah, he was right walking. There. He was walking away. Right there. He was walking away. Bird came in 20 yards. He started to turn away, and I was able to lean over real quick, had the steady form against my wrist, made a nice shot with the Ramcat, ran 20 yards and died. It's one thing to shoot one with the gun, it's another to shoot with the bow, and it throws a whole nother twist on it. But I love it. I think I'm gonna shoot him with the bow from here on out. It's my new passion. I love it. You know, sometimes things happen for a reason. And what started off with a miss, ended up with three incredible turkey hunts. Thanks for joining us this week, and remember, safe digging is no accident. Call 811 before you dig. Hunting in the Sticks is brought to you by 811. Know what's below. Call before you dig. Steady form. Ram Cat Broadheads. And Denali Rods. We would also like to thank these 811 partners. Closed captioning is brought to you by Flag Shooter. I'm here trying to film these birds, but I can't keep my camera steady because Mark is running around like a chicken with his head cut off in the blind. And there's a phone ringing over here. With a week between turkeys, yeah. Who's riding these? 
with a week between Kentucky's new season uh, 